Hey guys, what's going on? Andrew here, and today we're going to talk about how I construct my guitar necks. So this is a new series I'm going to start. It's going to be called Shop Talk. And what I'm going to do is anyone who asks the question on my YouTube channel or anyone that suggests or asks me to do a video or how-to video or anything, I'm going to go ahead and make a video if I feel the question is good enough to make a video about. So today I was going through my comments and I seen a question from Ken Butro of Butro Guitars and he asked how I got the angle on the flying V neck that I built on the guitar that I refinished and sent back to the customer. Today I'm going to go over the process of how I built that neck and I'm also going to go over the process of how I used to build my necks and how I build my necks now which is two different methods but get the same result. Ken Butro's question was I would love to see how you constructed the neck i.e. the neck angle. First of all the neck on the Flying V guitar is a three-piece neck like this. You can see three pieces of wood glued together. Now these pieces of wood are three quarters of an inch thick. Now this one is about four foot long, but they need to be about 30 inches long. And they're about three and a half inches this way. Now this is for a through neck, but this is the same concept. So I take three pieces of maple for a three-piece neck the way I did that one and I glue them together. Now if I'm doing a four-piece neck or a five-piece neck I mean I'll take strips of walnut or strips of mahogany and glue them between these two these three pieces which will be mahogany an offset an offsetting wood walnut uh, mahogany. So it'll be maple mahogany maple mahogany maple five pieces but this is a three-piece. Once this is glued together and dried then I go over and you can see it right here and I'll come down you see my line here that runs along there come down about three quarters to seven eighths of an inch come down and then here you can see the line maybe you can't see it there you can the angle of the line going this way and then the bottom of the line going that way and that's 15 degrees that's what I formerly made my necks at so that's basically your angle your neck and then back here would be the heel you can see it there at this point I take it over to the bandsaw and cut that out. When I come back from the bandsaw, this is what I have. A piece that's three quarters to seven eighths thick and then the peg head is about five eighths of an inch thick. Maybe a smidgen more because I can sand it down. So that's what I got on that flying v-neck. It's like this. Now this is the one piece but it's the same concept. Three pieces like this. To get the offset because that offset was that way, I just took a piece of maple and glued it as a wing onto here and extended it out three or four inches and that way I could draw my offset which came out like this and then came across like that over and then back down in like that and that's basically it from there it's basically rod a truss rod channel in it like that install a truss rod glue on a fretboard and it's the same same concept as this neck except I got more glued over here for the six on line. Glue on a fretboard, radius the fretboard, and this is the five piece neck. That's what that would look like with the two stripes of walnut. And that is basically it. Now, on my guitar necks that I used to build, they have a 15 degree, like this one here. That's a 15 degree angle I lay back here. And now I have changed that to a 12 degree angle. That's what this is here 12 degrees of layback. So that is basically the way I construct my three-piece and my five-piece guitar necks. And this is the way I used to construct them. I don't make them like this anymore. I still make three and five-piece guitar necks, but I use a different method. And in part two, we're going to go into that method on how I construct my necks now, which is pretty cool. And how I can take this, which is a three-piece neck, and turn it into a five-piece neck, which I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm going to show you how I put a 12-degree angle on like this but without doing it like this because this here is a lot of waste a lot of wood is wasted when you make a neck like this to where you know I can save a lot of wood so anyways that's going to do it for part one be sure to tune in in a couple days part two will be up thanks Ken for the question and if you got any questions ask him maybe I'll make a video if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video give it a thumbs down go in the comment section and ask questions um, comment on the video what you think the video any suggestions for new videos also go check out my website andrewallenguitars.com there are some awesome stuff coming up pretty soon on there there's gonna be a lot of parts available on the website here within another week or two 
So check that out. Go to my Facebook page, Andrew Allen Guitars. There's not a lot going on over there. There's pictures and videos, but you can check that out. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so so you can catch every awesome upload. Anyways, thanks a million, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. I love it. I'll see you guys in another video. Rock on. <laughs>